Hey guys, today I randomly just had the inspiration to sit down and talk to you guys about my favorite self-care items because I feel like self-care is so important. Like it's a buzzword right now, but it really is important for you to just take the time to rest, not quit, but just to rest and recharge. And sometimes like an hour well spent will give you the juice you need to really go after the day. So I'm gonna be sharing my favorite ways to self care and hopefully it can help you with finding products just to make self care easier for you if you need some ideas and some inspiration. And a lot of the products in this video range from either very affordable or luxurious. So keep on watching. So my favorite way to self-care throughout the day is to create an ambiance. And this is super easy to do with candles. Candles are my favorite thing in the world. I love them so much, they make me so happy. So aromatherapy is a really easy way to create an ambiance in your home. So I like to use my candle whenever I'm working. I work at home, so I always light a candle before I start working just because it kind of gives me a sense of coziness and being in an environment that's beautiful and like kind of romantically lit just inspires as my creativity so I feel like if you work at an office you could have like a little mini travel candle on your desk or you can even use an oil diffuser which is what I also use in my home I like to keep it in the open areas like my kitchen so that everybody can experience it and as I walk from room to room I can always smell it and how an oil diffuser works is you basically put in some purified water and then drop a few drops of an essential oil of your choice which you can choose based on the benefits of the oil or based on the scent of the oil now I have a couple of my favorite essential oils here so right now I have the black and green lemon and tangerine essential oil blend which I've shown in another video as well as my peppermint essential oil that I like to use in the morning time to kind of make the ambiance more like sharp and awake and really wake you up and it's also really good with getting rid of smells after you cook in the kitchen and then lastly I have my lemongrass essential oil and this says that it helps to inspire and I just love citrus things so this is a nice scent for me. So if you're looking for a more cost effective solution to creating an ambiance in your home, tea light candles are the way to go. You can get a pack of like 30 or 40 tea light candles for less than $10 and that will last you for a while. I have a pack of about I think like over 100 tea light candles in my home right now and I got that for a little over $10 on Amazon and it's lasted me for months. So in line with creating an ambiance, I like to use pretty stationery whenever I'm working or just have pretty stationery around the house. So I have here a couple of my favorite like pretty stationery pieces and I'll have it linked below where I get them from. But like this is a gold foil checklist and it's beautiful. And then this notepad has this really pretty like melanin girl who is getting it. Like she's working on her laptop and drinking her tea and this is me. So I love seeing myself represent in my stationery and also just having really pretty stationery kind of puts me in a higher mindset so because I'm using something that's luxurious and really it seems important because like the weight is obviously like heavy and like it's thick and it's really it makes me think of wealth it makes me feel like I'm important it makes me feel like I'm special and then that manifests in the way that I act and also in how people treat me but for instance, this is my planner and I absolutely love her. She's so pretty and like inside I have her really decorated. I have my initials on the front and just having pretty things in front of me as I'm working. I have the same melanin girl here. So here's another look at the inside of my planner, but I like to keep my planner on top of my desk when I'm working and seeing things like this throughout the day just keep me motivated, especially sometimes like when you have those down moments throughout the day, seeing things that say like believe, achieve, succeed, or I am iconic, just, you know, keep my spirits up and that helps me keep a bad moment turned into a bad day. So my next favorite products for self-care is journaling. Now this is a gold notebook, you can barely tell, <laughs> but this is a gold notebook that I got from TJ Maxx and it's just like a lined regular notebook and I love using this to basically just vent. Like sometimes I am a Taurus so I am very emotional, <laughs> good or bad. Like I could be super happy and also super sad or super upset. So I like to kind of monitor my emotions and work through my emotions as much as I can within myself so that I don't use moments of emotion to hurt other people or to, I don't know, 
like sometimes it's good to be self-aware and I know that I can just be a lot. So I like to journal and journaling really helps me to basically like get what's in my head out because I find when you ruminate about certain thoughts, you kind of create these mind traps that just take you down this rabbit hole of negativity or self-doubt or um, any emotion that you're currently feeling. So for me, a lot of times, um, I have to keep myself from going down mind traps of thinking things are gonna go wrong before things even happen. So journaling really helps me a lot with that. And I notice that once I get things out of my head and down on paper, a lot of the times the emotion that I'm feeling inside completely like leaves my body along with the words. Journaling is very therapeutic and very cathartic. And if you haven't tried it, I would definitely recommend it. Um, it can help in all different instances and even if you don't own a journal just taking out your phone and writing on your note application or writing a text message to your own number um, just getting the thoughts out of your head really help. I am not a coffee girl I never have been but my favorite thing to drink for relaxation and just like the feeling of calming down is tea. I absolutely love tea, but it has to be tea that's good because I feel like there are a lot of teas out there that really don't do much for me. But one of my favorite types of teas is this Celestial Tea Sampler and it comes in about five different flavors. And my two favorite are the Black Cherry Berry, that tea is so amazing and it honestly is seriously so calming. And then also the True Blueberry. And I like to drink my tea in pretty mugs that inspire me and have like sayings that make me feel good. So I have these two mugs from the Ray Dunn collection and one of them says meditate and the other says begin. And a lot of times I feel like I forget to meditate so I have this for those moments when I just feel stressed and tense and I'm unconsciously holding on to negative energy and I just need to you know, breathe and let it out and know it's gonna be okay. And then this mug I have because sometimes like starting a task can cause anxiety for me or really just like the idea of like how big the project is can make me shy away from it and procrastinate. But this reminds me to just like chunk it down and break things into small pieces and just start. Something else I love to do for my self care is to feed my mind. Now this comes in the way of either podcasts or books. And the reason why I love listening to podcasts is because I feel like podcasts are one of the greatest inventions in like the 2000s. I don't know when podcasts started, but I absolutely love them. There's nothing like podcasts. It kind of feels like you're talking to a friend, like you get to hear somebody on a more intimate level. So when I find podcasts that really speak to like where I am or that relate heavily to me, it's kind of like, I don't know, it's like having a little online friend that you can listen to. So some of my favorite podcasts right now are Think and Grow Chick podcast with Courtney Sanders. I absolutely love that podcast. It's kind of like um, business and lifestyle. And now that she's a mom, she talks about some of her mommy stuff as well. And to me, I feel like it's a little bit also like black girl therapy. And what I love most about her podcast is she talks a lot about like flowing within the feminine energy and business and your personal life. And I think that that's really important, like not fighting your natural instinct and just flowing with what works for you, especially in business as a woman. I also love Style Your Mind by Kara Alwileba. She's a life coach who talks a lot about elevating in your life and how to elevate your mindset and then like your physical environment around you. And of course, I love Super Soul Sundays with Oprah. They're like these like very intense philosophical nuggets that just make you think and kind of challenge your perspective and invite you into other perspectives. I also love to take bubble baths whenever I'm stressed or when I just need to kind of calm my body down to get ready for bed. And I know a lot of people have the same feelings around like drawing baths to relax and for self care. So I'm really just gonna be sharing some of my favorite products to use in the bath because my version of self care is elevation. Like I like to elevate my environment. I like to elevate the products that I'm using, like things that make me feel good and luxurious and pretty and just are beautiful to look at, that's what works best for me and my self-care. So my bath products follow the same thing. So I have a bath detox here. It's called Bathe and it's a deep detox bath soap. And this is from the company Goodnight Darling Co. It's a black owned company and I'll have it linked below. But this is a pink Himalayan sea salt detox with rose petals in it and it looks really pretty and like just extra in the bath. <laughs> And then I also have here this trio of bath oils and they have these rose petals in them. So this is a French rose scented oil with some 
like flower petals in them and then I also have a pink grapefruit one and then I have this lavender one with purple flower petals in it and I like to put these oils in my bath water because they help soften my skin and make my skin feel even more moisturized when I get out the tub and I also like to use this fizzy milkshake from Oyen Handmade. This is a milk powder. So on the packaging, it says that you should think of Cleopatra when you use it because like queens would bathe in milk, I guess. But it has cocoa butter in it, which really helps with moisturizing your skin as well. So like I wouldn't use an oil with this because this is very moisturizing when you get out the tub. And it also just has like this really nice. Oh, my God. It smells so good. Oh, it smells so good. It has this really nice like cocoa butter slash chocolate scent. And it also has Epsom salt in it to help with any aches and pains. And then my most affordable bath product that I use is this Epsom salt from Walmart. Honestly, if you just use some Epsom salt and maybe a little bit of coconut oil in the bath, it would give you a lot of the same effects. It would moisturize your skin. And then the Epsom salt really helps with any aches and pains and helping to relax you. One of my self-care tips is to make more time to do things that you love. Now this looks different for everyone, but for me, I absolutely love laying on the couch or in the bed and just watching movies. I'm a movie buff. I can watch like five movies back to back. <laughs> I absolutely love storytelling. I love the plots. So for me, Netflix and Hulu are like imperative. I have to have them and I like to make a night of it. So like I'll order in, I'll get some wine, you know, I'll get my boo, we'll lay down and we'll just have some like together time. But really making the time to do something that I just naturally love is important for my self care. And you don't have to have a ton of extra time in your schedule to do this. Maybe your thing that you just naturally love is discovering new music or listening to new artists and you can get that self-care that you need on your way to work possibly like in your car you just listen to a different station on Pandora every day or you tune into your Spotify and you give yourself 30 minutes of just you time don't pick up the phone don't worry about anything other than just listening to and exploring this music and my last tip for some self-care inspiration is to go outside I feel that just being outside and being with nature can really ground you back into what life is about. Like when you see the trees and the sun and you're out in the fresh air away from your phone, um, possibly with your family. For me, spending time outside always just reopens my eyes to the fact that there's a whole world out there. And it can also help if you're feeling down because it can let you know like that there really is like so much more to life than maybe the one thing that you're not feeling too great about that day. So my favorite place to go when I need some self-care time is to the beach. And since I live in Florida, there's like three beaches within 15 miles from my house. But if you aren't near a beach, going to places that are really pretty, that inspire you, are going to be helpful. So that can be a really nice boutique, like a small little maybe tea shop that has really pretty china and a really pretty aesthetic inside, or even a beautiful garden or park that has a lot of flowers. Just going somewhere outside that inspires you and just looks beautiful is going to make you feel better. So those were all of my products and tips for elevating your self-care and ultimately elevating your life. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and everything that I talked about I'm going to link down below just so you can see where I got it from and possibly if you want to purchase it you can purchase as well. But I hope that you guys are having an excellent day. If you're not, use one of these tips in this video to try to turn your day around and brighten it up a little bit. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.